Everybody from Australia right now is about to go absolutely nuts. Celebration at the Billabong House, the VIP house right there, and counting down five, four, three, two, one. We have a new world champion, wow. and his name is. I'm so stoked for Joel Parkinson. So stoked. Congratulations to Joel Parkinson. Let's hear it for your world champion. The swells hung in there from yesterday. It could be really good this morning, but if the swells dropped and there's probably, there's probably no wind in, but it could be really nice and clean. But when it gets a big swell, it looks like corrugated iron. It's like the most amazing thing you'll ever see from here to. For me personally, in my sport, a surfing kind of gets me out of bed. It's more of an addiction thing that you have. I think it's more about feeling human after I paddle out. I come in, I get changed, and my day starts. That half an hour of just a couple of waves and the feeling of the ocean, to me, is, is a satisfying moment. You know, my day starts, you know, then straight after that, you know, regardless of what happens the rest of the day, you, uh, if you don't get back in the water, I feel like I had my fix, you know, for the day. It is very forgetful surfing. There's been surfs where there's been so many good waves. I've had so many amazing rides in one surf and one session that they all blur to one. Then then you've forgotten about not only you've forgotten about your rides, but you know, you forget about everything in, in your life. Some people say oh, it's time to think, but there's times where you, you've rode that many good waves that you've forgotten about everything, you know. It really makes you feel like a kid again. The majority of the time, I mean. Life's at a pretty busy pace, so there isn't much else to that gives you that kind of endorphin of what happened in the last hour and a half is special. And now the moment we've been waiting for, Kelly Slater taking on Joel Parkinson, a huge matchup, and Kelly having. My competitive nature would be, I guess, best described as you know, I'd like to think it was quite a smiling assassin in a way. When you do have someone on the ropes, you want to keep them there. It's a hard thing to, to be a prick like that. You know, I, I've got a wife and three kids, but you have to have that. That competitiveness is what gets you out of bed to do what you want to do. And late drop, Joel Parkinson survives the landing. I've often heard some people will surf a wave. This is what they want to do when they take off. And for me personally, I've never been like that. I've just always just stood on a wave and just gone instinct. When I was younger, I used to have that more frustration, anger, when I used to start to lose or was getting behind in the heat. Over the last few years, I've always learned to enjoy that, you know, to do the reason you do it, you know, to be pushed in a corner. I start to concentrate a little more, you know, focus pulls in and you start to think, what's my best way, what's my best plan? It's got to be an escape out of this. Whether it be a will or, or whatever it is, you, you find a way out of it and, you know, sometimes there you most memorable wins. Yeah, this is a very important uh, hit for Joel Parkinson in the ski. Joel's got a reputation of always taking the first wave. Around events, people say a lot of a lot of stuff. You know, if you did read into a people's opinions too much, it can really, I guess, bring people down. And I'm lucky I've got a bit of a thick skin. And just, I always believe, you know, people's opinions are their opinions. You don't have to believe what, what people say. You know, that's what they think. In a way, it's like, seriously, like someone's going to pinch me one day and go, well, like, is this really your job? Yeah. It's so smooth that you're like, I'm sick, I might go the second one. Yeah. I find it hard to believe I get paid to, to surf. It's, and it's the thing I love to do the most. Basically, surfing's given me freedom because I don't work to nine to five. I have this thing and my wife, she hates me for it. There's certain things I'll book in, I'll book it in next week. But it just happened to be the same time that the waves are pumping. And 
I and I pull around. I just keep, like I'm so sorry, but I, I, I've got to go. You know, and I'm down up the coast. I'm there then one day, and then drive three hours the next day for this and that. And sometimes when the waves are good, I, I I I feel more guilty if I don't drop and go surfing than if I if I do the things and miss the waves. You know, that is my freedom, being able to do that, to just be able to go. Today's the day I'm going surfing. You know. I wish the waves weren't good some days, but there's some days where I've got a million things to do and I just don't do them. <laughs> and people give me shit for it and I go, look, I'm sorry. Sorry, I can't say that, can I? <laughs> <laughs>